Hello, in this video, I am going to show you padding. So padding, if you come from a web development background, you will feel right at home with it. If not, here is an example. So we have these two widgets, the top widgets do not matter. And without any padding, they're essentially next to each other. Padding essentially allows us to you know, put a gap and then that's really all there is. So what we're going to say, we're going to add some padding to this where text widget. So it you know has a bit of a space here. And to add padding, when you have multiple children like this, or even if it's just one child, it's a child in itself. So what you need to do is put new padding. And the first property that you need to specify, you know, the padding itself. So you can just put, so there are a few different types, but the recommended one I'd say is edge inserts all, or maybe edge from left, top, right, and bottom. So you can specify each individual, you know, what's it called? Each individual padding. So if you specify the same padding, let's say if I put 20.0, and after it, you put the child itself that you want to apply it to. And we can just literally put this child and put it here. And before this, we need to put child, so we so it knows what it is. And then if we save that, as you can see, it's moved across. And really, that's all there is to it. If I was to just go one step further and put a comma, and here I will put again this new text, the top of widget doesn't matter. This is just really simple. And if I was to put end, for example, I think see there is a gap here as well. But without this, or if we was to put this to zero, which simulates it if we as if we didn't apply a padding, it is next to it. But what I want to show you is the again the other type of padding which is padding edge insets from left top right and bottom so left let's say if we put a padding of 20 and uh, from the top it doesn't matter what we really put here because there's no items above us so for now we'll keep this as zero and right let's say if i put 90 in the bottom again there's nothing below us below it so it doesn't matter so if i save it as you can see there's a padding here and a padding here this padding is the left padding, you know, left to this widget, so it's 20, and this is 90. So that's really all you need to know. You can apply this same sort of padding with other, you know, sort of layout mechanisms. Instead of using a row, you can use a column. Remember, column is oriented vertically, so the two that you would more be interested in is the top and the bottom positioning. That's it for padding. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message and as usual I look forward to seeing you in the next video.